Speaking while parading the suspect, the FCT police commissioner reaffirmed the command's commitment to making Abuja safe for residents. Among the paraded suspect is a man who snatches phone from residents, removes the network SIM cards and hand them over to his girlfriend to hack and withdraw money from the SIM cards that are linked to accounts. When I give him the phone, now give me the crack, now I smoke, I will rise to you. Then this woman that she on my right side, she said, get past me. And I don't know anything about the SIM or anything. And I used to give her the SIM. She used to buy cards on the net. When they see the phone, they give me the SIM. Then I insert it on the small phone. There's a general code I press. It brings out all the list of the bank in the, in the SIM. Meanwhile, other suspects named Gabriel Oliver and Emmanuel Ishaku were paraded for carrying out attacks in the redeemed Christian Church of God at Bethel Center and cutting away several high-definition electronic gadgets which are properties of the church. The suspects confessed to the crime. Point touchlight at the security men, we caught them and we tied them and we went to get access to the church. It's not that like we boggled the church, they, they are the ones that gave us key. So we enter and park the musical equipment. The FCT police commissioner at the heart of the parade warned residents against boarding vehicles with strange number plates at night. They robbed the unsuspecting passengers and dropped them. But the moment they, they, they leave that place, they will remove the, the number that is, is superimposed. That is Nigerian numbers, plate numbers. They will remove it and then leave the foreign plate number so as to dissuade the security agencies from getting to them and arresting them. Several stolen vehicles, two AK-47 rifles, musical equipment, 76 SIM cards, two OP ATM cards, and a golden wristwatch are some of the exhibits recovered from the suspects. John Tena, ITV News.